throw in. Nurk Oliveira to Doxoro. Doxoro gets a foul. See if this goes into the box. Doxel with the free kick. On the ground. Tries to switch to John Dumbuya, but unfortunately it's a long pass. How the attack there on the side, Patrick Hamilton fighting for the ball with number 20. That passes it to a GLUSU player. We have John Dumbuya running for it. Unable to win it over number 17. That puts it all the way to Great Lowell United's keep. We have Olf there with a short pass to Derek Oliveira. Tries to put it. Nobody puts it on the ground here. And we hear the New York Athletic Club coach shouting for pressure, even though they're winning 4-0. See Katie with the ball there on the left side. Looks for support, gets it. Ball missed. By Gray Lowell United. Another attack there that is stopped. Deflected, but the ball goes out. No danger there for GLUFC. The game still 4-0 here at Collie Stadium. 25 minutes into the second half. Let's remember GLUFC is playing with 10 players after the penalty kick. We'll see what the ref says if actually well, the player Costas talk back to her after the foul. Like on the penalty for New York Athletic Club that is attacking right now. Number 13 looks for an opening. Nice shot, but wide. Nicely looked. Ball goes into the midfield. One or not by Great Lowell United. The ball goes long but stays in the field. We have Patrick Hamilton looking for it. Ball stays in. Number 10 from the New York Athletic Club passes it to Cabrera. Cabrera opens the field. The ball goes out and it's a defensive throw in for Great Lowell United. rain keeps coming down here on the field not really strong we keep falling we have the throw in and the ball that gets on air again another throw in for the gray low united now in the midfield Handball from Samba there, trying to control the ball. We have now, now we have a free kick for New York Athletic Club. Ooh. Great ball for John Dumbuya, gets an open ball for Samba, but he gets an offside call. I didn't see an offside, but I might be mistaken there. 
I actually didn't see an offside. I don't think I was missing. Nice pressure work there by John Dumbuya. Another throw in for Great Low United. They are playing with 10 players. Doug tries to turn, turn around, misses the ball. Um, bad passing from New York Athletic Club gets the ball back to New York uh, from, to Great Low United. Anil Pereira with the ball. No communication there, and the pass goes nowhere. For a throw in for the New York Athletic Club. Foul by number 20. And necessary, he was pushing it. Long ball there, John Dumbuya. <laughs> trying to get the ball, ball rebounds fair up. Ducks are trying to control the ball. It's not on the ground. See here, it puts on the ground number 10 from the athletic club, gets it on the ground. We have a foul there. Foul there. GLUC is not showing that it's missing one player, actually. It's playing about the same kind of game they were playing before. See if the ball goes long, and if it goes up. Well, the rain pours here on College Stadium. We have it subs here uh, for New York Athletic Club, a couple of them. We have number 19 coming out. The defense, for defense there. And number 13 coming out to midfield for midfield on the New York Athletic Club. Long ball on the ground. Doug Searle gets the ball, trying to turn around. On a free kick for the Gray Lowell United to a, due to a high foot there from the New York Athletic Club. Good chance for the Dragons to get a goal this time. We'll see if it works. The nine steps in. Let's see who takes a shot from Gray Lowell United. Looks like Anibal Pereira will. Or is it Doug Searle? It looks like Doug Searle will take it. Doug Searle hits the ball, goes over the posts. And it's a goal kick for a New York Athletic Club. Another sub for the New York Athletic Club. Oh no, goes back in. Player comes back in. No subs. Ah, almost intercepted by Patrick Hamilton, but it's GL UFC ball. Derek Oliveira with the throw in. Patrick Hamilton. John Dumbuya goes on the ground. We have a foul. Smartly taken by John Dumbuya. The 
puts his body next to the one to the New York Athletic Club player unless he some fall. John Dumbuya with a free kick. Ball goes in. Still on air. Doesn't get to be flected. Still around. Dog Sarah tries to control it. Turns around. Slow kick. Kick and goal! But it's called an offside, so no goal there for the Great Lowell United. Not a goal. Free kick for the New York Athletic Club. It's offside. Unlikely there. But with 10 players, they seem to be closer. Ulf gets that ball deflected on the New York Athletic Club player. And we have another goal kick for the Grail Lowell United. The ball goes into the midfield, but it goes slightly wide, and we have a throw in by the New York Athletic Club. The game's still 4 0 here at Colley Stadium. With 35 minutes into the game. Nice run. From the New York Athletic Club player gets a foul, and it's a good opportunity there for the New York Athletic Club. The free kick goes into the box and long ball, two players, keeper's ball. Kips makes a long ball to Patrick Hamilton that's switching from defender to offense. And number 26 is grabbing Patrick Hamilton. Unnecessarily there. Well called by the ref. Another chance there to for a score. John Dumbuya with the free kick. Two men on the wall. Let's see if he goes for the goal. He uh, puts it in there. Keepers falls, but the ball goes wide. Great right Lowell United actually playing better with 10 men than 11. And we have a goal kick there. For New York Athletic Club. <laughs> head on head, quickly done, but yes, the, you need to wait for the ref to call it. You can't just do it. We're 26 with the free kick all the way to the box. And it's a corner kick. It's a corner for a New York Athletic Club after the flexion there for by the Great Lowell United. Okay, the corner goes out. But the ball goes all the way up. Pretty far out. Grillo United keeps goes for the ball. All the way to almost in the forest. There. As we are almost 40 minutes into the second half.
Goal kick there. Head to head. Could have been a much rougher game. At the beginning, we thought that we were going to see more yellow cards. We saw a red card. Uh, miscommunication there from the Grey Low United. That's not allowed them to use that chance and we get a throw in for the for the New York Athletic Club that gets the ball long ball for them all waiting for it and we got keeper's ball that opens the field wide for their Colavera that goes for it and sees John Dumbuya coming for it and stops the run Deflected and it's a New York Athletic Club ball. Long switch. That goes wide. Attack there by the ball into the box, contract, but softly, and Sean gets the ball on his hands, stopping what could have been the fifth goal for the New York Athletic Club. The game still 4 0 for the New York Athletic Club here at Colley Stadium. Pressure there on defense. Marco Besso with the ball to number four. Goes back to number 26 that keeps pressure from Dumbuya. Samba puts pressure on number 12, gets the ball, makes a run on the side. Only Dumbuya in the box. Just Dumbuya for the kick and into throw in for the Grey Lowell United. That girl tries all the way to a goal, goes slightly up at the game here. With 41 minutes into the clock, still 4 0. Right connection there, Dumbuya gets the ball back. Two players on him, misses the ball. Number 17, pass to a break in, but well stopped by Avery. Doug Searle to Avery, back to Doug Searle, to Derek Oliveira. And Patrick Hamilton was offside there. Great pass by Samba. Katie with a long ball. Unlikely. Was unable to control the Doxer with the ball in the, the middle. Misses the ball. Number 20. Passes to number 3. Gets deflected by Avery. And it's a throw in for New York Athletic Club on GLUSC turf. Nicely down by Nayarthaga, gets a shot, deflected up. And we have a corner kick for the New York Athletic Club.
hear you can hear the rain pouring long corner nobody there GLVOC ball Sean gets the ball in the midfield it's not controlled by John Dumbuya number three Marco Besso gets the ball all the way back there ball goes seen a pad number 10 gets the ball Sean stops the ball nicely there Good chance for New York Athletic Club. New York Athletic Club with the switch all the way on the other side, the ball in the box. Controlled by Grillo United. Keeper's ball. New York Athletic Club with a little bit pressure here in the last minutes of the second half. Doug Searle opens the ball to Derek Oliveira. Puts it back to Doug Searle. Misses the ball. We had number 17 counterattack by New York Athletic Club that is called as an offside from the ref. Let's see there, the ball is lost. Or not. The ball is lost by Gray Lowell United. Another attack by the New York Athletic Club puts the ball in the box. Nobody there to get it. <laughs> He's a throw in. Defensive throw in for the Gray Lowell United. Already done. Dogs are with the ball. Man on him. That puts pressure. Another throw in for Gray Lowell United. Gaining a bit of ground. And the ref calls the end of the match. The New York Athletic Club wins 4 0 here at Collier Stadium. New York Athletic Club 4 0. Good one, Mighty Joe. Join us for our last home game here at Collier Stadium on July 5th at 8 p.m. Thank you for coming.